Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a bit of a highlight reel gameplay for you guys today. I'm not going to show one particular gameplay. I'm going to show you guys a run play scheme that I pretty much was running the entire weekend league. Um, kind of just to annoy people. I mean, to be honest with you, like I just kind of wanted to run an offense that for one was a little bit different uh, and for two I just wanted to run I just wanted to run the ball a lot and I think I found one of the best offenses in the game to do that with so I'm using the pistol offense today uh, and I'm going to show you guys one particular scheme but I got a ton more so if you guys want to see more schemes out of this playbook I probably got like five or six out of this playbook that are just as cheesy and annoying so if you want to see them hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com discount code money shot to get 5% off link in the description below and let's go and let's Let's get right into the video now the formation today that i'm going to be focusing on is the pistol full house which is probably in a couple different playbooks but to be honest with you i couldn't really find it in any playbooks this year i found it in a lot of playbooks last year i think it was in the uh the panthers playbook uh the packers playbook i don't know if it still is but ultimately this is the formation that i'm focusing on as far as substitutions go you typically want to just have a uh dual purpose fullback a guy with some speed i'm using marcel reese now when they recorded this gameplay i was using vernon davis who did a very good job as far as a guy who can block and also can carry the ball because all three of these running backs are going to get the ball at some point you also want to make sure that you have a speed uh, quarterback at the quarterback position and i would suggest identify either on the quarterback or the lineman because i use two quarterbacks so to me it's best to have it on the lineman now this is a run heavy scheme so i'm going to show you guys the number one run play and that's the counter lead this is going to be the most explosive play in this formation it's going to be the first play that i look for just about every single time i run this offense I also put the triple option switch into my audibles. That's a, a decent play. It's definitely not one of the best plays. Uh, I would say the second best play is without a doubt the zone read. This is going to be probably the second play that I look for just about every time. Uh, and then I also keep the halfback slam in there. And you can see this is my four audibles. I have four running plays in my audibles. The fifth play is always going to be a pass play, which pretty much will change every time. On this particular play, I'm going to go with the PAX post because I do think that's one of the better ones. Uh, but I've kind of gone away from that. So every time I come to line, I'm pretty much just going to read uh, the defense to decide which one of these plays I'm going to go with. On the first play of this game, I decided to go with the counter, and it wasn't even really um, the best read, and you can see, I mean, we just have such explosive results. That guy was running a 4-3, and there was nothing uh, but a, a wide open lane to the end zone right out the gate so this is something like i said this is kind of like a one play touchdown running scheme in my opinion there's so many explosive plays to be had here and my opponent after just one play in this game uh the first play of the game decides to quit what does that do does that blow your mind that just happened so just to show you guys like i said this isn't just one opponent that's why i really didn't want to just show one gameplay me run this i wanted to show this against multiple opponents because it has the same uh success so this first play i'm going to continue to show uh is essentially the counter play and like i said the counter play you're really just looking for for this defensive end being out wide uh, away from the defensive tackle if you have a gap like that you're going to want to aim towards that gap so on this next play i'm just going to like i said i'm always looking for that this is the first play i'm always looking for you're going to see it's super consistent i mean i just have blocking for days and i almost had another touchdown there which i will have a lot i will score a lot of touchdowns in this video trust me so the next play the second play that i'm going to look for and this is really the counter play to that play if they decide to pinch the defensive line which my opponent didn't even really do here but if they pinch the defensive line i'm typically going to go with the zone read the zone read you just basically hold the a button and uh, this running back here will take it very wide uh, you, it's a little bit of a risky run because you have to basically sprint out uh, but you can see there's lots of room out here so if your opponent makes that mistake of pinching the defensive line to try to take away these inside runs uh, the zone read is going to be the very second play that I run and then the third play would be without a doubt the halfback slam it's a very simple play all you're doing is kind of walking forward you can flip these plays to either side just look for whatever side has the least amount of defenders there's two extra defenders on the left there's one on the right uh, so I'm gonna take it to the right it's really that simple but it's a very consistent uh, run play scheme and like I said I'm mostly gonna focus on the the halfback counter to start this video so anytime you have uh, a gap to that side you can see you can get
get some really explosive uh, runs out of this play. Uh, and you can run it to either side. I mean, it's not a play you just have to run to one side. So you can see we hit a lot of home runs with this uh, with this play in Weekend League. I find these plays are uh, very successful as well against small defensive packages. A lot of people are mostly running things like uh, nickel packages, which you really have to bulk up to try to stop this uh, particular formation. Uh, but you can see, I mean, it's just it's very consistent. It's not always a home run. It's not always a, a one play touchdown. Um, but it's one of my go-to plays. And if I see that gap, like I see right there, um, it's a perfect read. Now this, you know, I could have probably ran just a, a number of plays there, but you can see this blocking is just overpowered. As I've been singing the praises of counter plays for a very long time, so like I said, you really can't beat this play uh, with anything. You really have to come out and stack the box to have success with this play. Um, which, you know, like I said, that lends to the second play anyway, which is the zone read play. This play has two different options, but I typically only take the first option. I typically, I mean, you, you basically have a choice of either holding the A or X button, whatever system you're on. If you're on Xbox, it's A. If you're on uh, PlayStation, it's X. Uh, and you will hand it off to the running back. If they pinch the defense like my opponent does here, I'm going to be looking for the zone read play. So here, I could take it outside to either side. I take it this way with the tight end because you can see there's an extra defender on the left. So I don't want to go in that direction. I want to go where there's the most space. So I'm going to run it to the tight end side, which is like I said, you typically want. That's why I got Marcel Reese. He's a little bit faster, a little bit better of a runner of the ball. Uh, but Vernon Davis does a very good job with it, as you can see right there. So that's pretty much the read when it comes to this play. Here we will go once again. The guy's going to have the exact same setup. I'm going to go the opposite way because there's opening to that side of the field where he has an extra defender on the left side. And then you can see we just have nothing but space here um, for, you know, very big carries. Like I said, this is the second most consistent, the second most explosive run. Now, if you see, uh, you know, on this play right here, I mean, he pinches the line. Um, I make my adjustment, but I don't take it all the way outside. I, I cut it short. Like I said, you really have to commit to the outside to get the most out of this play. Uh, but it can sometimes cause, you know, it can cause some losses, some carries for losses. Uh, here, he doesn't pinch the line at all, but I still go with it because he, he doesn't. It's the same read where I'm going to run away from the extra box defender. So sometimes that's all you really need to do is run away from the extra guy in the box. And that's exactly what I do here. You can see we take it outside. We have another very big carry. So very consistent run, very explosive run as well. As long as you make the right read and run it correctly, you can see here once again, my opponent decides to pinch the defensive line. Real simple, you know, switch over and take it to the outside. And then, like I said, I mean, you just get nothing but space out here if they make that mistake, which a lot of people will make. A lot of people will make that mistake and try to pinch the, the defensive line and pinch the linebackers to try to stop these runs. I also like to mix in the triple option switch. Those first two plays are the main plays. I'd say that, like I said, the third play is the slam. Nothing really to explain when it comes to that. Uh, but this play is pretty good. I like to mix this in. It's real simple on this next play. Once again, I, I have an extra defender in the box on the right side so i'm going to run to the left side if i have my choice i'd rather run to the side that has the two running backs on this next play i run to the side with the tight end when i run this play i typically am looking for the pitch um you can hold a and hand it off to the running back but i typically want to get it out to this guy because it's a more explosive play i find but if you run a lot of read options or triple options or whatever um you know the holding a and handing it off isn't that bad um but you know right here i mean this is another look he has an extra defender on the left side so we're going to go to the running back side we're going to try to make that pitch and get that ball out wide it really is all about this guy here uh, this defensive end here he hesitates anytime he does that typically going to throw it out and then you can see you can have a lot of success but i run that play probably the least out of the four then when it comes to some of the passing plays i said earlier the px post is one of my go-to passing plays um all these passing plays are mostly dink and dunk i do have one one play touchdown which i'll show you guys here in a minute uh, but i'm still working on the passing plays this is pretty much the setup i typically just slant this b route uh, because i want the entire uh you know all the route going in one direction that basically gives me an opportunity it's a man coverage especially to roll out and run with the quarterback uh, which once again like I said it's pretty annoying uh, effect to, uh, when people are running the ball non-stop to do stuff like that something I like to mess with but if they run a lot of cover three like my opponent is running here the wheel route is really going to be the uh, the best play so you basically just get a quick throw I also mess around a little bit with throwing to the swing route the other running back um, who you're gonna get a lot of opportunities where it almost sets up like um, like a screen play where the where the wheel route then becomes a blocker but for the most part i pretty much just hit this wheel route if it's a cover three or even a cover four that they play off um, i'll just take that for an easy or easy throw it's just a consistent play and like i said you also have the swing route you can always hit that swing route for an easy check down as well i would say the 
best pass play to run that's the most consistent though would be the deep curl the deep curl um probably has the most options has some pretty good man options and pretty good zone options uh typically the setup i just slant the x route so we can have crossing routes um which is going to get open against a lot of zones and a lot of man coverages but the the running back's a really good man beater the rb route that's kind of going to do a little bit of a comeback route over the center that's typically going to be one of the better reads you can see right here i mean i got that slant right away um which like i said that's pretty much the first read whether it's uh man or zone it's going to get open against both and the running back coming out of the backfield uh the rb route there kind of acts like uh the second slant of the formation but your opponent's never really going to see that coming um i do feel like the b route is also one play touchdown i'm still kind of messing around with but while i was running this it was pretty much the two slants that i was working with the most and then you also have the table route which once again if somebody's playing in an off zone like a cover three or cover four you just basically hit this in the flat and then you get a real nice catch and run i mean that's something that you can just take all game so those are probably the two biggest options and when it comes to the running backs in the backfield that are running their routes, if it's a zone coverage, you just want to hit the, the running back on the left. If it's a man coverage, typically the running back on the right is going to be the best of the two. And then you can see on this next play, I mean, it's not something people don't have a, a very easy time using this route, but you can see, I mean, like I said, that's a very good play against any man coverage as my opponent was running an all-out man blitz. Uh, there is a very good one-play touchdown against man uh, cover one and man zero. Uh, you just want to make sure you have your fastest running back at this particular spot because the route is going to be, it's a very unique route. I can't say I've even seen this route anywhere else, but it's out of the PA comebacks. And it doesn't look like much in the diagram, but when you get to the actual play art itself, like I said, it's a very unique route. I can't say I've ever seen this. But this route, as long as you have uh, a decent speed advantage, this route will get behind uh, the man coverage. I used typically streak the B route and the, the running back on the other side just to make sure that I pull the cover one safety to that side as much as possible. Give myself a, a slanting check down as well, but this is pretty much the look. And then, like I said, this Y route here, for whatever reason, uh, just gets passed. I mean, typical wheel routes don't do this anymore, but this particular route does. As you can see, we score one play touchdown against, uh, against cover one. So a very easy play, definitely an important one to have your arsenal like i said i'm still kind of working on more one play touchdowns i will try to do that again later in the gameplay you can see you immediately shifted out of it uh to try to stop it um so i basically you know you have your check downs your comeback routes or your check downs on a play like this so definitely some good plays to have in your uh, in your arsenal so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more from this formation and more from this playbook do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.